Hello everyone, Daniel here coming to you from my barn in the beautiful state of Maine. And today we're going to have a look at exactly what comes with the Bearhawk kit. All right, I'm going to get started here with everything that came inside the fuselage. Uh, it was tightly, neatly packed on top of the wing crates. I've emptied it out. Everything sitting right here uh, was part of the fuselage package. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap everything, uh, identify anything that might be missing or damaged, and uh, we'll go from there. Once I've done that, the wings will come out. I'll open those up, see what's inside those. And then there were a couple other packages that came separately from the kit, all part of the Bearhawk order. And uh, let's get started. All right, guys, I am super excited about this. I got all the packaging off, all the parts, and I'm sure you guys want to see exactly what comes with this Bearhawk kit. So let's have a look. We got the nose bowl. This is the larger of the two nose bowl options. I've got a Type 2 engine mount. This is for an IO540, Type 2. We've got a firewall, for the most part complete, which is really exciting. They've done all the, uh, the bends on the channel, the riveting, the flange at the bottom. So that's awesome. Uh, windshield looks good. Got a little bit of orange peel, but that's just the film, protective film that's covering it. Uh, let's see, cowling parts, intake for the cowling, aux tanks, don't destroy stuff. I decided to go with the aux tanks. They do weigh uh, just as much as they say they do, 30 pounds, but I can appreciate the care and protection they did to avoid FOD. Actually, I can appreciate the care and protection they did on everything. I mean, beautifully packaged. So here we got aux tanks, hardware, the straps to support them. These were still wet. I guess the paint hadn't dried when they packaged them, so they're all stuck together, and the paints are ripping apart uh, as you pull them off, so I'm going to have to repaint those. Uh, left suspension, that all looks excellent. Let's see, instrument panel with the bend already in it. I mean, they've done a lot of work already. Uh, fuel flange, fuel valve flange or support bracket. All the rudder pedals, fully welded, painted. All you have to do is assemble it. Stick controls, same deal. That is awesome. Uh, let's see, seats. This is exciting. That's the new, I believe, new design for the flap handle that they've borrowed from the Model 5. So there are the flap components. Uh, more hardware. Hardware for the rear seats. Rear seat. Got the belt buckle position right there on them. So that's cool. Pilot side window, pilot side door, right? They've even gone as far to notch these guys so that you can bend them in, right? So very little fab work that you have to do. Window, let's see, window trim. So these are already bent, got two of them. I guess one for the cargo door uh, and one for the fabric side, yeah? Okay, already jogged, half the rivets already installed, holes drilled, that's awesome. More window hardware over there. This is cool, some of these uh, diagrams from the packaging show you exactly what's what, where it goes, what it does. So, in some respect, good to keep those around. Exhaust tunnel, all the, the uh, Aluminum pieces already cut, already formed, labeled, right? So we've got cargo door stuff, we've got boot cow stuff, floor stuff, ton of stuff. Oh, there's a lot of weight in here. Maybe carbon fiber can help out with some of that weight. Let's see, what else do we got? Horizontal stabilizers, control surfaces. Right, all beautifully built. Some parts here that I have yet to determine where they go. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out along the way. These are pretty. Anything shiny is pretty, right? Some of them are flattened out, these tie rods. Some of them are not. I would assume to support the uh, control surfaces here. Some aluminum tubes. Uh, 
more support tie rods, more tubes. This is a fancy piece of machining. So that's the tapered uh, tail wheel suspension. That's cool. Got some weight to that as well. Trim tab push rods, right? Trim tabs already cut out, ready to go. One thing I've noticed on these uh, that I think was missing from previous kits is the lead weights have already been poured in there. So there's a good amount of weight already added. And then these covers are on those. I don't know if those were previously uh, installed on kits prior to this, but I can appreciate that that's already done. Let's see, hardware for the tail, some uh, little components for the cloth, right? I'm sure these go around here somewhere like that. Yeah, I'll figure that out as we go. Cargo doors, stringers for the fabric. All right, quite a few of them. I'm sure all the ones that you need. Hardware for the doors, handles, rods, more handles. Passenger side door, window, and hardware. Right side suspension assembly. All the fiberglass parts, wing tips. This is kind of funny. Um, they're probably mowing the lawn while they were doing the layup because that, that is inside the layup. So I get free grass. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Windshield trim, skylight trim. This is aluminum, I believe. I thought that was stainless or 4130, but it's not. It's aluminum. And there you go. That is everything that comes out of the fuselage. Oh, there are some parts already installed there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff up into storage. Um, I'm hoping that's an inventory list. So I can take that list out, and as I put stuff up, make sure nothing's missing. Um, I'll lower the fuselage, we'll have a look and see what's inside there, and then we'll open these up. There it is, in all its glory. Bearhawk four place, Model B. Straight out of Mexico, number B42. Sure does look pretty. Comes with all the uh, aluminum formers all along the side. Drilled, riveted in place, welded in some areas, ground flush. Lower seat frames already installed. Um, roller bearings, bolts, all that comes with it. This one's a little stiff, so I'll probably have to work that. Flap handle, so I believe that along with the seat frames were adopted from the Model 5, new to the four place. Did notice a couple things here. Um, one was I, I do have shipping damage. Mark Goldberg from AviPro did give me fair warning on this one, and he's given me a couple options to either bend that back into place uh, or cut it out and weld a new one. And, Seeing as how I'm more comfortable with my welding skills than I am with my body shop skills, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. And he's gonna send me a new piece for that. Uh, the other item that's missing is, I did order this with float fittings, and there are no float fittings there. In addition to some added structure, that's all missing. So that's unfortunate. That's gonna be a lot of paint removal, welding for both the shipping damage and the missing float fittings, but you know, take it on the chin and keep keep on trucking along. So that's what I'm gonna do. But she is a beauty. All right, let's hoist this thing up and uh, get those wings all pulled apart. Right, inside the wing crates, we got an aileron, super lightweight. I really love how that's designed. The aluminum wing, 
lightweight fabric aileron and flap. The barn door flap, I'll have to post that up there and see, uh, see how tall that thing gets. Uh, let's see, the tank bottom, some of the skins from the back side of the tank over there. Uh, a few of the tank brackets, inspection panels. I love this, the strut. Uh, this thing, definitely light, um, but feels strong, stronger than anything. Uh, and it's already been drilled, so I think that's something new. Not sure how long Avi Pro has been doing that. Uh, I'm going to assume that's a stiffener for the trailing edge of the wing. Right over there. Right over there. We'll go have a look in a minute. Gas tank comes already installed. A whole bunch of bubble wrap, so you're going to have to remove it anyway. Um, but there it is. And that looks really good as well. We've kept everything shut. Weldable rivets, stiffeners. Let's have a look inside. Right, so obviously where our main tanks are located. Got our tank straps right here, three of them. Nice bit of felt on the bottom. Uh, holes are already drilled, so that's really cool. A lot of the uh, a lot of the tubes are installed, albeit with zip ties in many places. Um, but hey, at least they're in there, All right? Some other hardware, little bits. I like that they're tied in the right location, kind of keeps it where it's supposed to be. Some of these guys are still loose, right? So they're fit in place. It's up to me to do all the final assembly there. There was a box in here. There was another checklist right over there. So I can make sure I've got all the parts that I'm supposed to have. There was a little package hiding up front there. More rods in place. The ox tanks do not have the holes cut out, so it's not a big deal. We'll cut those out when it comes time. But there it is. So that is one wing. Uh, this guy was about a little bit too heavy for me and my wife to lift up. So we just kind of rolled it over. I'm going to assume that the second wing is pretty much identical, uh, but opposite, right? And uh, so we'll go have a look at the last piece of the puzzle, which are the packages that came separate to the whole shipment so let's go have a look at those right well this is what was in the extra packages that came in uh, pretty much from here over came from the avi pro team and then the grove wheels and brakes came from grove uh, on behalf of avi pro uh, so we got our aluminum wheels with disc brakes on them uh, the larger brake calipers i don't think they offer the smaller ones anymore the brackets Let's see, fuel drain valves, five of them, a main, two aux, two mains, fuel selector valve. It's a lot smaller uh, than I thought it would be. Lightweight, some pictures for instructions, more pictures for instructions, fuel strainer. Let's see, rod ends, lots of nut plates, some bearings. I don't know where those go yet. Don't know where the springs go yet. Uh, fuel caps, O-rings, random springs, brake master cylinders, trim tab, wheel with instructions, and then some instructions for the shocks with additional items and the springs. And these guys are heavier than I thought they'd be. Rectangular round bar spring. There we go. That about wraps it up. Not so fast. I made a little mistake and got confused by the order form. Uh, when I checked the box that said I wanted help with the hardware for the Bearhawk, what that meant was a good amount of the hardware comes from Bearhawk, which is what you just saw. But the large majority of that comes from Wix Aircraft. But it was up to me to place that order with Wix and get a discount through Bearhawk. Um, anyway, my mistake. 
it's one I wish I hadn't have made because this took three weeks to get here. And uh, so at any rate, I'm gonna open it up and we'll see what's inside. Well, there is all the hardware that came inside that box. And this has got to be most everything you'll need. Uh, they've split them up into the page number on the invoice uh, sheets that I've got. So page one through eight, I've got seven bags. Uh, page one, bag one, we've got cables, turnbuckles, thimbles, pulleys, more cable hardware. Let's see, bag two, more cable hardware. We've got bolts, nut plates, more cable hardware, all bolts in bag three, lots of bolts, uh, nuts, more bolts in bag four, page four, bag four, uh, bag five, washers, rivets, nuts, bag six, I got these rods, I hope that's for the flap handle, let's see, screens for the gas tanks, washers, more hardware, screws, and then page seven and eight, bag seven, eight. I got, I think, everything we need for fuel lines, minus the lines. Uh, T fittings, 90 degrees, fuel line ends, all of it. And you can see why this takes weeks to put together. Everything here needs to be counted or weighed and bagged and, and well, there you have it. I don't know why they call this a barn door flap. It's not, not quite as big as a barn door. I mean, it's it's pretty tall. But it's so much bigger. Well, of course it's bigger. It's the big barn door you got there. <laughs>